I used to go around saying that Evergreen Harbor was one of my favorite worlds in The Sims 4, and I feel kind of silly even admitting to that now. It's just that back in the day, we barely had any apartments. We had San Myshuno, and then we had four in this world. So when this first came out, it was like life-changing to a lot of us, okay? But now that we have the rent pack and we can build our own custom ones, I don't come here. I don't think about this place. And that's sad. I feel like I loved these apartments so much when they were new that I need to go back and on them. I need to build something here. And I've got this vision of like a gamer apartment, like the LED strips and the, the gamer desk. That's what I'm trying to channel. And this plan ties in very nicely with the sponsor of today's video, Herman Miller Gaming. I feel like we should try to make the perfect desk setup, like fancy PC, ergonomic desk chair, all the good stuff. I think I did something kind of like that in this unit, the one next door. So I like the idea of doing something in the smaller one and then having like a whole bunch of gamer all in the same building. It really is a significantly smaller apartment though. Like it is teeny, teeny, tiny in here. So it's gonna be hard for us to figure out a layout that actually makes sense. I'm just gonna start by deleting all of this stuff. One other huge change since I last built here is that you can add windows now. For the longest time, you couldn't adjust the shell of these apartments at all. But when the rent pack came out, they made it so that you can edit the windows in these buildings. Weirdly, you cannot edit the windows in the front. I cannot add or change anything here here, but I think that's because in Eco Lifestyle, there's like weird updates that you can make to the building. So I don't think they want you to touch this just in case you mess it up gameplay wise, but we can change the windows in the back. And that's fine by me because we can get some bigger windows in the bedrooms. It's just that we can't get any extra light in the living space. <laughs> We're kind of stuck with like nothing over here in the front of the building. I wonder if I could rethink this a little bit. Like maybe if I put the bathroom here, it could be a one bedroom house. We could just do a bedroom room here and a bathroom here because then we could still have a big window in the back. Does that even fit reasonably? Not really, but that's okay. <laughs> it's fine if it doesn't fit, right? Let me just think layout quickly. It always helps me to just put in some furniture so I can kind of visualize it a bit better. Do not panic. I swear I don't intend to use this particular furniture. I'm just trying to figure out what I've got to work with. You know what? This might actually be all right because we could put the TV on this wall kind of in between the two doors. And if I really wanted to, I could even get an island in the kitchen. That's interesting. I wonder if instead of having a dining table, we could maybe make a little like gamer nook right here. Gamer nook is by far the silliest concept I have ever said out loud, but I think this is a reasonable layout for an apartment. You can kind of see what I'm going for, right? I'd be so curious to know if any of you also do this, where you kind of like sketch out the layout of a build before you start actually furnishing it. Because I always feel kind of silly when I put all this stuff down just to end up deleting it, but it really helps me to think about where stuff is gonna go. This also looks so bad from the outside. Like, the big giant window is just randomly there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I kind of wish that I could change the front door. I wonder if I could. How silly is this? Be honest with me. For me to like build in a little space like that. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but I don't like how that door looks. I want my own door. If we did this, we can make them black, which I think kind of fits the vibes a bit better. It looks worse from the outside. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not worried about the outside too much. Like we just can't, we can't be allowing ourselves to be concerned with these things. I think it being darker is really cool because imagine we're going to have like cool lights and exposed brick accents and stuff. Not that brick. <laughs> Maybe this brick. I'm not sure. You know what? I'm gonna get a sim here too. I think having a sim so we can change lighting color is gonna be really helpful. Stanley, this is your time. Oh, he can even afford it. That's good. Usually when I get these random test Stanleys, they have like zero dollars because I'm playing in like a random old Rex or Riches save right now. But this particular Stanley is actually doing all right for himself. Okay, I'm gonna start by doing the whole kitchen layout, I think. I'm actually kind of tempted to use the black counters. I really did not mean for it to be so dark in this space, but I'm kind of picturing myself adding like big LED signs and, and lots of color that way. And then I guess having most of the rest of it be quite dark and sleek. We're gonna need to pick an accent color. I'm gonna have to decide which one I think is best. Maybe I should pick out lights right now. I know that we have these. I'm thinking I'll use those in the desk area. We also have these, which are very big. I did not really think about that. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't realize how big they were. It might have to be blue. I hate to say it, but sometimes blue is just what works best. It's not my fault that everything comes in blue, okay? I think I want to get a little divider. This is where I'm kind of making some poor decisions, I think. So just hear me out while I try and think this through. Of course, that does not come in black because why would it? That would just make too much sense. There are divider type things from City Living. So we could do that because that helps us with the gaming nook that we've been talking about. And we can kind of hide the desk right there. We can get a big gaming PC. We can get like a fancy gamer chair. <laughs> I don't know what color yet. I need to look through all of these first. There's actually way more variety of gaming chairs in this game than you would realize. There's like six of them. And this one even has fancy lights on it. I may use that one. Oh, I don't know. Is that too much? Maybe that one's better. I kind of want it to have more neon energy. I don't think that this does. It actually would be really cool if they tried to add some sort of more ergonomic chair in The Sims. I'm having these visions now of how cool it would be to have more like desk setup stuff in general. Obviously a chair would be cool because of the theme of the video, but like maybe if they had more desk clutter, more desk items, we don't really have a lot to make dedicated office spaces or like more specifically gaming spaces. And considering we are all gamers, it would be cool to have more. Well, you know what? Speaking of chairs, really quickly, I want to tell you a little bit about the sponsor of today's video, Herman Miller. That was a good segue. I know. I kind of planned that one. I've been using a Herman Miller chair for a few years now, and it has genuinely changed my life, which I know sounds a little silly to say about a chair, but it's true. So I was so excited when they wanted to sponsor a video. I have the Herman Miller Aeron, which is like the original revolutionary office chair. On this, there are seven points of calibration, which means it can be super fine-tuned and personalized with how it fits you. You can adjust the arm height and width, the seat height and depth, and the recline. And all of that helps you to maintain optimal posture, even if I do sometimes kind of sit hunched over at my desk. Don't judge me. It's actually really interesting because a lot of engineering work has gone into these chairs to make them as ideal as possible for long periods of sitting. Your strongest posture is when you're standing with your chest out and your pelvis slightly tilted forward. And what they call posture fit technology mimics that position. So it supports your spine at its lowest point while also providing lumbar bar support. I know that is a lot of fancy words, but basically this chair is state of the art for comfort and support, and it is really good for your back. I've had this since 2018, and I'm not kidding when I say it has completely changed my experience of sitting at my desk. I used to have so much back pain in my old desk chair that I was using, especially when I was streaming all day. It was so bad that I spent a long time researching chairs and eventually took the plunge and decided to upgrade to the Aeron. And this is by far the best upgrade to my desk that I have ever made. And I've had it for like six years, and it still looks and feels brand new. I like this one so much that we actually just got a new Herman Miller Embody gaming chair for my husband Dan. And the Embody chair is specifically designed with gamers in mind. So it has all of this technology to help your back and make it more comfortable. But for example, people actually tend to sit more upright when they're gaming than they do if they are just sitting at their desk working. So the Embody chair has dual layer support, which means it has an additional layer of foam in the seat to help support your more active posture. It also has a back fit feature to help combat your spine's tendency to kind of curve in a weird, unnatural way when you're sitting for long periods of time. That's kind of the theme here, right? They're doing a lot to help support your back and your posture to make it as comfortable as possible when you're sitting for extended periods. I mentioned I've had my chair for like six years, and Herman Miller always says that this is your last chair. Unlike other gaming chairs on the market, you aren't going to have to replace the Embody every couple of years. It's made with durable, sustainable materials, and it's built to last. It is rigorously tested, and it's backed by an industry-leading 12-year warranty. All Herman Miller gaming chairs come with that 12 year warranty so you can have some peace of mind with your purchase. And the Embody chair actually comes in some really cute colors. It has two base colors with two different colorways. We picked a black and white combo for Dan, but if it were up to me, I would have gotten the white and amethyst colorway. He's just boring and didn't think the purple was going to match his office. And also they come completely assembled. Like you can literally just roll it out of the box completely made and ready to start using, which is a huge plus because nobody likes building furniture. So just a huge thank you again to Herman Miller for sponsoring this video. I have been such a massive fan of this brand for so long. I'm serious, it has completely changed the game for me. I'm really excited for Dan to have the Embody now as well. He's been using it for a few weeks and obviously really, really, really liking it. So if you are interested in checking out either the Aeron or the Embody gaming chair, I'm gonna have them both linked down below. And if you do decide to buy one, if you need to, you can split your purchase into easy monthly payments using a firm. So thank you again to Herman Miller. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right back into the build. If only my Sim could have a chair this nice. Although I don't know 
if back support really actually matters all that much to Sims. All right, back to the game. We got to focus on this. I still am not 100% sure about that chair, but I guess I'm just not really 100% sure about the color scheme either. Let me see about making a lot of the lighting in this room green. Oh God, <laughs> I didn't mean to do all the lights. Wait, 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 hold on. When all the lights are green, it's creepy. <laughs> I didn't mean for that. I wanted to have the strip lights be green. Okay, lots of green happening. Not 100% sure if it's a good or a bad thing. I do like the shelves and I'm curious about putting something like this. See, this is sort of initial vibe concepts that I was having. I just feel like that might be a little bit much, especially with that light. So I need to decide which one I think is more important. This, this wallpaper is also an interesting idea. And that one kind of matches this actually. Oh, you know what? This wallpaper actually kind of matches the light. And that is a cool vibe. Can I make the chair match that better? I guess we could do the light blue. Interesting. Okay, now I feel like this should not be green. <laughs> I think this should be like a blue color. And we're back to blue. <laughs> Every single time I play this game, everything turns out blue. I don't know if the black even looks good. I feel like, would this maybe be better white? I don't know. Oh, we should do a really funky carpet. I don't really ever use that in like normal houses. <laughs> Probably for good reason. Oh no, imagine that one. Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna do this room first. I'll come back to the rest of it. This excites me. I might need some money too. So first and foremost, I should address the elephant in the room. There is a gamer bed from high school years. I don't know if we like this or not. It does surprisingly match the floor like really well, <laughs> better than you would expect it to. But then I feel like that does not match this. So we have to kind of decide which vibe is better. I also wish I had a different headboard or something because I just don't really like that one. Now, who is the Sim that lives here? Because I kind of just dived right in and started decorating with like gamer in mind. But what does that even really mean? <laughs> well, who is a gamer? Because I think that I have a gamer room and my gamer room obviously is not this vibe. I'm getting a couple of these little poofs to put in the corner. I think I'll put a plant. I think it's clear that I don't really know exactly what I'm going for. But now that I've done this room, I think I've got a vision. I think that it's kind of starting to come together in my mind. Do we think they have another desk? I hadn't really even considered that as a possibility. Cause like what kind of person has two gaming setups? But maybe they do. Maybe they have one like ultra wide curved monitor and then they have one set up like this one. They're good for different reasons, okay? <laughs> both are good and both are helpful for different occasions. You know what? These people are lucky. They have two fancy gamer setups in their house. It's kind of like my real life house actually. It's just that my real house is a little bit nicer because we have Herman Miller gaming chairs, which as we have established are a little bit nicer than your average gaming chair. They're more ergonomic. They're more comfortable. There's also some other desks like this thing. I would never use that in here. I just can't bring myself to do that. But let's just say there are some interesting options, okay? <laughs> if we really wanted them, there are some interesting things available to us. I think I want to make this light purple. Oh, that's way cooler. Okay. And then maybe I put some posters or something on this wall because there is like a Minecraft poster. <laughs> Wait, look at this one. It's like a complete nod to Minecraft. How much brick do you think is too much because I kind of want to use it everywhere. I think it's cool. It's probably like a faux brick wallpaper or something. It's not real exposed brick, but we're not going for realism, okay? We're going for like interesting cool vibes. <laughs> um, In hindsight, they probably cannot get into this bed, at least not from this side. I might have to test that. I'm worried about him getting stuck. Oh, he's fine. Never mind. Thank you, Stanley. Much appreciated. Oh, <laughs> well, this is also scooted into the wall. Let me try that one more time. Okay, he's still fine. Thank you. I'm now thinking about these little cube shelves. This is how I'm helping to channel the gamer energy, actually, because much like in real life, real gamers have cube shelves in their bedrooms, and we can really fill that with clutter. The Everyday Clutter Kit has a bunch of stuff. Like, we have little headphones we can put in, I think I might put some board games because a lot of people that are interested in video games are also interested in board games. I need to sit up straighter. I'm sorry. I'm like sitting cross-legged at my desk. <laughs> <laughs> Cross-legged and hunched over my computer. I'm thinking a lot more about posture today. And then from high school years, I swear there's a bunch of clutter that's like perfect for this. Yes, like this thing that has a controller and everything. I'm gonna let myself alt place that because it's kind of slotting to like way the wrong place. I know that's not helpful. This might let itself disappear too, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. So something kind of like that in the shelves that does make our desk look very plain. So I'm gonna have to do a lot to fill it in. Okay, how dramatic would it be if I had LEDs? strips and little string lights. Is that so much? 
<laughs> so much in a bad way, maybe. This monitor is so big, you cannot put anything behind it. Like you can't actually access this stuff, but I'll put some little clutter pieces there just for good measure. How bad do you think it would be if I gave them a frog? I don't really know if that's like a thing that gamers do, but it will be a thing that gamers do in this particular instance, because I am giving this sim a frog. <laughs> I think that's actually not that bad. As far as clutter on the desk goes, I don't want to overdo it and then have it become non-functional. So I might leave it like that. And I think I might get these little star lights back here too, because this wall is kind of bland. And maybe that's the full bedroom done. I feel better about this now. I, th I think that I have like the vision of what I want it to be like in mind. Yuck, not that. Okay, <laughs> whoa. Maybe I will do... Do you think black tile is too much? We do have tile like this. They can maybe combine it with gray to see if that helps. And I'm really sorry, but uh, I'm using a lot of packs in this build. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I did not mean to, but we've kind of taken it a little far already. Like the bathroom clutter kit, is that really entirely necessary? <laughs> Apparently, because I've already used it. I am absolutely obsessed with this little set of drawers. I think that's so good. I like how it looks messy and kind of lived in. I think I might leave the bathroom like that though. Stanley can you just come in here real quick so I can test it? Yeah, he's fine. I know it's kind of weird when they walk through the robe on the door. Uh, it kind of bothers some people. <laughs> I'm not that worried about the like clipping through the robe thing, but I'm sorry if you hate that because I know I do it a lot. Oh, I don't know if we can even put anything really inside of this room. <laughs> it's really tight in here. I was thinking about putting a plant, but the door is there. So maybe if I swapped it over, we can kind of hide a plant in the corner like that. And I guess I could get some of the clutter kit. I'm, I've already gone all in, so we might as well use some more. I could put like a little set of keys in here. I don't know if you hate that dual entryway thing. I know that some people do. I just much prefer the look of that front door. So I want to try and use it. I did really love this wallpaper that we were looking at. I also think that it's probably not the best based on what we picked in that room because I kind of want to channel this purple, blue, yellow color scheme. I want to look at some more of the purple options. Ooh, you know what? We might be onto something with that. I've never used that swatch before. I think we could totally use that out here. It kind of matches the darker color scheme anyway. So I think that's better than the lighter one that we had before. I just, I like the colors better in the lighter one, which is why I was kind of tempted to use it, but it's not really supposed to be my personal style, is it? And this is like way more the vibes that we were going for. I think that's so cool. So for this, I'm thinking I'm gonna use a really simple table. Honestly, something like that. We'll get a TV on it. We obviously need a video game console. That's like half the battle here. <laughs> we built this whole thing just to play video games, so we have to use one. I might get a fancier TV even, something big like this. I'll put the console there, and then maybe we could try and put- is it so weird to get like a radio or something? It might be a little weird, but I always struggle to find places for those, and you kind of need them a lot in The Sims, so I like the idea of trying to fit one in there. Oh my goodness. What do we think about that? Oh wow, okay. Maybe the purple and green. Oh, I could use that over here by the entrance. That's a nice little welcome mat. It has like pink and blue too. Okay, Okay, on this, I don't really like this tile. <laughs> <laughs> that was mostly there as like a filler. I think we should do something bright. I just don't really know about like that in particular. Okay, here's a little pro tip with these cabinets. I actually like having a corner shelf on these cabinets. However, in this particular kitchen, I don't really want to stick a corner shelf in there. I just think that's like kind of weird how it's in between. If I had shelving right here, maybe it would be better, but there's something about the corner shelf that just feels wrong to me. So what I did instead was just combine two cabinets and kind of like stick them there. If you look really closely, you can see I'm clipping, but because they're black, it's not that bad. So I think I will just leave it like that. And then as far as chairs go, all the purples are way off. We could maybe do those. I don't know. Ooh, this space print might be so cool in this house. Do I even have space for that? I'm gonna try and find a spot to use that because that actually looks really good. If we could like size them down. You know what? Honestly, putting it like fake on the shelf right there is kind of cool. Okay, I think that's all the clutter that I want to put in the kitchen. They can cook on this counter still. I'm actually feeling like this tile is just absolutely horrendous, but I don't really know what an alternative could be. I guess we could try something like that. That's probably a bit better. You know what? That rug is kind of the exact vibes. <laughs> At least in color scheme, probably not in style. I want a rug that is this size, but you know, better looking. Oh, I had not really considered something like that. Let me look actually at the high school years couches because I might base all this off of a couch. It does come in that color, which is too much. <laughs> we could do this sort of light blue one and then there's this version as well. I think that one's probably the best option. And then for the 
love seat, I'd like to pick something that matches but doesn't quite match, or maybe like add some purple chairs to it or something. The problem is the purple options in this game are horrendous. Oh my god, I've never seen that swatch before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure about the chair situation. Is there a better purple rug? Some of these are wild. These ones are all from the bowling pack, believe it or not. Oh, wait. I totally forgot about this one existing. I'm gonna try to make that work. I don't really even know if I like that rug, but I think there's something kind of wacky about it in a fun way, so I'm gonna try. I think we also need some really cool artwork. I don't quite know what I mean by that, but <laughs> we need something interesting. That's kind of good vibes, but it does not match the rug, so never mind. Oh, we could do posters. Ooh. I always think of these as being like video game posters, which I mean, I think they are video game posters in game, but that's kind of fun because they're like signed video game posters. Maybe I'll make these lights purple. Well, oh, that looks pretty good actually. I think we should also try to get a lava lamp somewhere. I just really like the idea of a lava lamp. Oh, this couch also is interesting. I don't think it comes in good enough colors though. That would have been a cool thought. I'm actually really enjoying this because I feel like I'm going through and picking out swatches that I never use. It's kind of been a good experiment Whoa, <laughs> maybe not that one. The cat tree comes in purple. I like the idea of a cat tree. I think in practice it looks kind of silly though. Let me get my lava lamp real quick before I forget. That is a main inspiration point of this build, so we have to have it. Look how weird that looks because it's kind of like the curtains are sheer, so it like glitches out visually a bit. It only works from certain angles. <laughs> If I got a fourth or fifth gaming poster, I think there's six total. There's seven total. Oh my goodness. FIFA. I don't know. Like, at what point have we gone too far? You know what I mean? At, at what point is, is it too much? Because <laughs> I actually think it's kind of interesting. Just like a whole big line of them. Maybe I'll put a hanging plant over there to split it up. I'm gonna put a thermostat in too before I forget. Kind of just over here. I think this is too much. Maybe we should try and put just four. I think four is okay. Five was too much, three was too little. Four is a good number. Oh, how about like ottomans or little stools or something? Kind of like what we had done in here with those. Cause I don't think that the couches are really working for me, but the stools come in the exact right colors game. Oh, that's pretty good actually. That seems realistic. And then in real life, you'd be able to pull those around and like move them, use them like footstools, use them for other Sims to sit on. I do this all the time on my builds where I just put like a little tray from Tiny Living on the coffee table, but that's kind of what my real life coffee table looks like. So that's why I do it. I'm like channeling my real life kitchen with that one. I think the main concern right now is just sort of a lack of purple over on this half of the build. I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> Maybe I can make that wall purple, because that brings it around. And then the last thing we have to do is decorate this secondary desk. One person, two separate gaming PCs. <laughs> if we had like a second bedroom in here or something, it wouldn't be as bad. But considering just one Sim lives here, maybe it's two Sims, maybe it's a couple. So they have the one bedroom, but they each have their own gaming setup. Because that makes it less weird. <laughs> that makes it more reasonable to have the two PCs. I don't know why I didn't think of that first when I started making fun of my own build. Because that like makes perfect sense. Me and Dan have two PCs in our house. We have two completely separate setups. We just talked about that. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the whole thing of the video because of the sponsor. How many lava lamps is too many lava lamps? Because I would very much like to have another one over here. I just think that thing is so cool. It's kind of clipping a little though. Maybe raise the shelf up. All right, I think with that, the build is officially complete. So now I want to go around and give you a little tour. It is a small build, but I still want to show you around the finished product. And I feel like we should probably start with the desk setups because that is kind of the whole theme of the video. So our first little office space is right here here by the entryway. Obviously we have a whole gaming PC set up. We've got a ton of open shelving with some decor. And last but not least, we have a fancy desk chair. Unfortunately, we do not have Herman Miller gaming chairs in The Sims, but this one is gonna have to do. And it is still cute. It just maybe is not quite as ergonomic as it could be. And this little desk setup is right by the front entryway. We did kind of make that fake entryway. So we have like a little nook with some hooks on the wall and some places to put your mail and then a fake front door that looks a little bit better. I also put some fancy LEDs and the thermostat over here. And then you kind of enter into the kitchen, which is kind of big for the size of the apartment, but that's not a bad thing. It's nice to have a lot of open space like this. I use a lot of stuff from the Home Chef Hustle pack in here and it's really nice. It's like a gourmet chef's kitchen. And then from there you enter into the living room. We've got a nice couch and some ottomans and some gamer decor. We have the TV with like a gaming console set up. And then in the only bedroom, we have a nice fancy gamer bed, whatever that means, and a really nice desk setup in the corner. It's kind of tight, but it does 
still function, I tested it. And on this desk setup, we have a fancy ultra wide monitor, we've got a nice camera and a mic attached to it. This computer is from high school years. The chair is actually also from high school years, not from Herman Miller Gaming. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. It would be better if it was, but unfortunately it's just a Sims desk chair. And they have a frog for some reason. And then last we have a little bathroom and that is pretty much the entire apartment. So there's not really that much to see, but I think it turned out pretty nicely. And this looks a lot different from what I normally build. I used a few of these things for the first time ever. I didn't even know that this swatch existed, this like purple and green swatch on that rug. I forgot about this swatch of the hexagon wallpaper. So that was kind of fun to find. Also this rug, never used before. <laughs> That's from Parenthood, totally forgot it had that swatch. I've always liked this rug, but some of it's kind of weird. So it's fun to find an excuse to use stuff like this. This one is one of my favorites too, and I never use that one either. So we should try and do a build someday and, and fit that rug in. But I think on that note, we're finished. So I'm gonna end the video right here. Obviously huge thanks again to Herman Miller for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to check out this chair or the Embody gaming chair, I'm gonna have them both linked down below. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye everybody. I feel so silly sitting here like gamer this, gamer that, what would a gamer do? <laughs> but look at the place. It is kind of cringe gamer. You can see, so it's fine.